when it comes to life, it's easy to keep winning. You have to keep the momentum up, right? It's hard to get going, but once you get going, you have to keep it up. It's so funny that he gets his head shaved uh, almost every day. And that's simply because of how insecure he is about his hair loss. If he wasn't, and if people who have hair loss wouldn't be so insecure about it, then they would simply let it grow. As it is, they would uh, let the sides only grow if they only had hair on the sides. But uh, you really try to cover it up by shaving the head. But a lot of these insecure guys will always say, just shave it off, embrace it. How is that embracing it? Embracing your hair loss would literally be letting it grow out as it is. But you don't. You try to hide it by shaving it like this insecure squirrel looking guy. <laughs> All right. Futsu. Start drinking it. Oh, well, they keep repeating the thing. Let's wait for people to come. Let's have some fun. There's something in it that kids like the vegans think because they think there's better to eat raw meat. So I want to find a way. Tomorrow's the big day. Disrespected by society if you can't keep a man. All right. Welcome to my lovely British stream tonight, in it. I'm in uh, Florida, the United States of America. Hi, guys. Good evening. A bit of a late stream this Sunday. Just gonna check if it all was good. <laughs> Forgiveness is fucking religious bullshit. In reality, nobody has ever forgiven any- Hey guys. Thanks for all of the support ever since I posted the last two videos. I got messages from people who I hadn't talked to in years. I didn't even know that you guys still watch my videos, trying to make me feel better and so on. It didn't. People have asked me over the years what my zodiac sign is. I don't fucking have one. Almost everybody that we call a friend nowadays is actually just an acquaintance that we share addictions with. Polyamorous relationships are a man-made modern disease. A lot of girly guys are obsessed with cars and motorcycles because they were brainwashed as kids by the media to believe that being interested in man-made pieces of metal put together with wheels under them is what's gonna make them a cool meeting your twin flame is purely based on attraction nowadays men are taught by the media that being in dangerous situations is what makes you manly of course this is the biggest bullshit on earth because in nature we do everything to avoid danger duality is a concept created by humans it's not a natural occurrence the i watched a few of the so-called red pill videos on women and dating hi guys a channel <laughs> Most humans on Earth feel like they are not good enough, whether they are conscious of it or not. And this is exactly where all of these modern, ridiculous spiritual beliefs come from, such as manifestation. Yesterday I watched a documentary called What is a Woman by Matt Welsh. It's a really great one, I strongly recommend watching it. One thing very noticeable, which I assume Matt was trying to indirectly point out to the audience, was that the Yo, yo, uh, 2023, what's up? <laughs> That's the definition of insecurity. <laughs> I actually believe that I'm the greatest human being who has lived at least in the last hundreds of years because there's been nobody who has done so much uh, good for humanity. 
I'm trying to be vegan, but I'm struggling. I am vegetarian most of the time. Man, man. Abortions, man made. Evolution, man made. History, man made. Morals, man made. Man made, man made, man made, man made, man made. All of history is a belief. <laughs> <laughs> 